Hi guys, welcome. I'm Sim UK. This is Sim UK Let's Play. Um, this is where all my simulation videos are going to be in the future. I've really put a lot of effort into making Sim UK more successful than it is. It's not working. So this is going to be very lapsadaisical, laissez-faire as it comes. It comes as it is. I'm not giving this stuff away for free anymore. So if you want to see episode two, you're going to have to give me some likes. At least watch a couple of minutes of the video and see if you like what I'm doing. Um, I've already gone through the cooking school tutorial. I did this when it was um, in early access in alpha. I had it closed down for access, so uh, you can go and watch that on Sim UK. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description below. We're just going to go with a new game and um, have a look. I will do the tutorial here just to get myself up to speed. But... Uh, it shouldn't be too different. Hi, I'm the manager of this place. Since it's your first date, I'll show you the ropes. But before we start, three important things you need to know in case you get lost. One, key binding hints are always displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen. There's no key binding changes allowed, by the way. Two, during this tutorial, you can view your tasks in the bottom left corner of the screen. Three, this tutorial will auto save between stages. If you get lost or stuck, you can always go back. Huh, looks like the last owner left this place in a right sorry state, and you can see everything's broken. Get the phone, we need to call someone to repair it, I guess. So this is new, these green things on the floor. Oh, that's quite interesting, that'll help a bit, I suppose. What a mess, we need to get that gas cooker running ASP. Oh, this is new. Okay, so that's fixed. One down, four to go, we still need to fix the ovens and the fryers. Uh, oh, is that it? Repair the lower oven. Oh, the lower oven. What? Oh, okay. This is new as well. These uh, uh, sort of timer things. That's pretty cool. I like that. Repair the right fryer. Ah, okay. Great job. Put the phone away. We won't be needing that again. All right, fine. Okay, no time to take a breather. This place is empty and we're going to do something about it. First, you need some utensils. We get those from here. Oh, oh, you can't click on it. That's weird. Select the utensils tab and buy a blender. So it crashed on me. That's, um, that's the first time the game's crashed on me, even back in alpha when uh, when nothing was working at all. Oh, no, I can't do any of it. Okay, the tutorial's a bit restrictive. You can't go at the speed you want to go at. You can only go at the speed the tutorial allows you to go at. So I'm trying to fix these things knowing that I've got to do that. So, bit of a pain. Still won't let me do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the phone. I've got the phone. Come on. Allow me to progress. Oh, I have to actually go to the marked area. And pick up the phone. Okay, come on. I'm glad they've sort of really improved the tutorial. But, uh, yeah, it is a bit linear, I suppose. Right, let's hope it doesn't crash this time. First, you need some utensils. Find the cardboard boxes, hover over one, and press that to open the shop. Select the utensils tab and buy a blender. It's going to crash again. It's behaving very weirdly. Good. Now put the blender away. You can carry on only one thing at a time. Pick up the cardboard box by pressing E. That's new. And put it there. Okay. Use the shop to buy equipment from the list. One bake tray, two big pots, one cutting board, one knife, one pan, one spatula. Well, that's handy, isn't it? Oh, good. You can bring it back up. Why, why make it disappear, though? Okay, so one bake tray. Oh, I can't put it in the oven, it's still being fixed. Uh, two big pots, I think it said. Let's put those over here. Oh, I, hmm, maybe I can put it in the oven whilst it's being fixed, I don't know. Two big pots, a cutting board, a knife. A pan. This game is so awesome. It looks so good. 
and um, it works so well. Oh, we've got the tools, but we don't have any recipes. Go to the laptop. Okay, click on the recipe manager in the left side of the menu. Click on the not owned tab, which is here behind a head. Okay, buy a recipe for baked trout. That's that one. Let's see, something easy, I know. Buy salmon, steak, and boiled potatoes. Okay. And the last one, tomato soup. I've made tomato soup before. Not very well, but I've made it before. That should do for now. We'll improve something or other. Exit the laptop. So whilst it's quite linear, linear, it also disappears really quite quickly. Sometimes I can't read it quick enough. Okay, let's see. Repairs, utensils, recipes. Ah, yes, we need... Spices, let's visit the shop again. Okay, spices. Salt. Where should we put salt? Let's put salt. Oh, God. There. Once we're open, there's not going to be much time for shopping. Best we buy all the needed spices now. Black pepper. This is awkward. Can I pick this up and move it? That's much better. Uh, what have we got? Time, I think I'm going to put these in order that I expect them to be used. Whoa, that's a bit of a problem. Once we're open, there's not going to be much. Yeah, right, I'm doing it. That's a bit of a problem sometimes when you buy something. See that? See how my camera spins out all over the place? It used to do that in the uh, Alpha as well. I'm not quite sure why it does that. Oh, buy liquids. One of each, then. We'll put that over here by the... Uh... Oh, actually, yeah, I remember this. I used to put them up here. Oh. oh it's, it's a bit tricky, I'll be honest, to get them where you want them. But it's cool that you can stack stuff up. I do like this game. It is so good. I'd like to see it expand and, you know... Because, I mean, this is the same production team that put together um, House Flipper. Wouldn't it be great if there was a restaurant flipper and you could actually be the chef and make your own menu and stuff? I can't put that up there for some reason. At the end, I'll rate you just as a regular guest would. Don't worry, I'll have some help. Right, we need a trout. Let's find the refrigerator, shall we? I do believe I missed some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy talking rubbish, sorry. I'm not going to do that anymore. Trout, cutting board, season with black pepper. Okay, we're going to have a problem here, aren't we? Let's uh, put that in the oven. It's much easier to work with now than it was before, I've got to say that. Black pepper, yeah, black pepper. Uh, what I should have done, what I should have done, is put all this over here. So I'm just going to move it, because that's going to become rather annoying rather quickly. Keep your kitchen neat and tidy. It'll save you a lot of aggravation. And that's true for real life as well. Right, what was it? Black pepper, dill and thyme. Black pepper. Whoa, see the stutters? Still there then. I was I was experiencing that um, in the alpha as well. And it must be something to do with what it's doing in the background because it just happens randomly all over the place. Put the tray trout on the baking tray. Put it in the oven. Note, you can use many trays at the same time, okay? Use the dial to turn the oven on. Now leave it for 90 seconds. We can use this. Set up timer. Uh, one minute and 30 seconds. Cool. I like that. That's much better than it was in Alpha. Buy one lemon and chop it. Oh, God. See? Stutters. They do happen quite a lot. I can't see. Four pieces. 
try and make them even, he said. That is not going to be easy. Yeah, not perfect. It'll do. Right, should we get a plate for this thing? One of those plates. That looks like... Th th no, 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 no. What plate does it look like? That one. Okay, so if I click on this, it should tell me what else I've got to do. Garnish with parsley leaves, six grams of. Cut lemon, season with horse radish, five grams. Okay, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. We're pretty much there. How long we got? 26 seconds. Okay, let's open it up and have a little look. Nearly done. Nice, because I started that a bit late. So that's probably going to be ready. No, uh, probably, yeah, 16 seconds, okay. <laughs> Buy a plate. You can quickly transfer products onto a held container, even when they're hot, by pressing that. Use that knowledge to transfer the trait trout out onto a plate. I already knew that. We finish off the trout by seasoning it with eight, sorry, five grams of horde, horseradish. Wow, can't speak today speak any day. No difference. Pick up the plate with the trout. Now pick up the lemon quarters, target them and use the... that. Oh, ah, whoa, crap. Try that again. Oh, that's pretty cool. Finally pick some fresh parsley onto the plate. Six grams should do for garnish. Two grams each. That's three. That's it. Let's see how we did. That went pretty well. Oh, the taste was off. What did I get wrong? That's that's probably the best score I've ever had in this game. Uh, oh, the lemon quarters weren't quartered. They weren't exactly quarters. That's tricky, though. Okay. Bloody hell, they're going to be really picky, aren't they? That's it for today. Tomorrow will be open for business, so do your best. Alrighty, then. After each day, you'll be presented with the summary of progress the restaurant made. Our goal is to reach full five-star fame rating. As you can see, there's still a lot to do. Oh, and please don't go bankrupt. So, how do I know if we're going to go bankrupt? I guess I've got to look at the laptop or something. Daily reward. New perks available. Choose a perk. Level summary shows how... Oh, God. Once you gain enough experience, you will automatically level up. Perks are very powerful, unique abilities. Once every few levels, you'll be given an opportunity to choose one. This choice can't be postponed or undone, so take your time and pick what you think will be most useful. You can view perks you already own using Perk Browser app in the laptop. Okay, so what we got? Skilled. Get additional... Get three additional skill points instead of unlocking a perk. Faster feats. Unbreakable bottles. That's a good one. Long reach. Longer reach when picking up and putting down items. That's interesting. Steady hands. Hold down shift to freeze items in place while cutting. Huh. Interesting. Unbreakable plates. Plates will never break. That's probably quite important. Heat proof gloves. Pick up and carry hot ingredients in your hands. Refund, refund an order to save your fame score. My god, there's loads. Connections, lower score requirements to pass the food critics' exams. Thermal vision, learn the temperature of ingredients in a closed oven. That's quite cool. Busy stay, start every day with two daily quests instead of one. So that makes it harder, that one. Slow motion, time slows down while cutting ingredients. That's interesting. Time Enhancer. Once per day, add one minute to all active orders. Okay. Time Rewinder. Once per day, reset the timer of an active order. Ah, that's interesting. Dish Analyzer. Check dish's score before serving it to the guest. Reroll order. Once per day, replace an active order with a random one. Okay. I think we'll go for plates. Skill points are used to unlock and upgrade skills. With each level you can gain a certain amount of SPs. You can spend them immediately or save them for later. Guests pay 10, 30, 50% more for their orders without affecting the score. OK. 
Okay. How do I... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Day two. That was a bit clunky. Hi. Are you as excited as I am? Nope. Remember, everything you serve today will affect our reputation. Let's do this. Let's make this the best restaurant in the city. Okay. This is what we call the preparation phase. The name should tell the story. No orders yet, but you can use anything in the kitchen to prepare for the day. Make sure to prepare the ingredients you'll be using. Getting a head start on some of the dishes is also a good idea, as long as you know what you're doing. You know what else? It's also a great opportunity to review the laptop. Okay. Let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Open the Skill Manager app using the left side manager. Some skills become available once a restaurant gains enough fame. You can choose to save up SPs and use this app later to unlock something. Bloody hell. You can even reset all your skills and spend all your SPs differently, but that's going to cost you some money. Okay. Once you're done here, head on to the Perk Browser app. Here you can review already owned perks and on which levels you'll be earning new ones. She is totally in the way of that, isn't she? I think that's all. Once you're done here, you can exit the laptop. So all we've got is the plates thing. Yikes, look at the time. We need to open right away. Let's get cooking. What happened to my prep time? Jeepers. Hi, I thought you might still need me today, so I'm here, but only for today. First order for today is salmon steak with boiled potatoes. Find a big pot. We'll need to boil the potatoes. Big pot, big pot, big pot. Potatoes. Stutters. Oh. First fill it with one litre of cold water. Okay. Oh, this is a bit clunky. Jesus, that came up and covered that right at the wrong moment. Add 20 grams of salt. 20 grams? Blimey. I'm half tempted to try some of these recipes out myself and see how they go. Finally go and buy two potatoes, I think that said. Place the pot on the cooker and boil for 120 seconds. Okay. And if you hover over it, it tells you how cooked it is. Boiled potato. Open refrigerator and get a salmon steak. Okay. Place the fish on the cutting board. Salt, black pepper. Okay, salt. Black pepper. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the black pepper as well. This recipe calls for frying pan. Yes, understood. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Sunflower oil. 10 mil. Fry for 60 seconds each side. Yes, okay, all right. It's my first day, don't give me pressure. Ten mil. It's so tricky to pour stuff. Not even kidding. Which one is it? Wait. That one, okay. Right, salmon fillet. And that means the potatoes are done. Actually, let's set this up for one minute. Uh, the potatoes are not quite done, are they? Let's turn it off. Oh, sugar. <laughs> let's turn it off so uh, it doesn't. It's all ready at the same time. What plate do we need for this? One of those big ones. That one or that one? What's the difference? I think it's that one. Obviously, it cost me more money, but whatever. Uh, I've done that. I've done the oil. Spatula. Oh, it's, it's just repeating himself over and over again. I've put oil in this thing. A better bloody bee oil in it. It's not telling me that there's oil in it. 
Oh god. Uh, hold that to rotate. Yes, thank you. One minute. So we'll try and time this so that they're both around about the same time. Wrong one. Grab the plate. This is actually going really well. Ah, I'm a little bit excited. It's actually going really well. It just seems a bit easier to control the character than it was in the early alpha. It was a bit tricky. Okay, that's the potatoes out. Fillet is nearly done. Oh my god, where's that potato gone? You didn't see that. That never happened. Shut up, dude. Done. And that alarm's going to go off in a second. Any garnish? No. Okay, I think that's us done. Why won't it let me put it down? Jesus Christ, find a pan. Are you serious? This is... Uh, the tutorial is way too linear. Now put salmon in the pan. Oh my god, it's going to force me to do all of this crap again. Fry the steak to 60 seconds, yeah. Use a spatula. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Look, I've got it here. It's ready to go. Just let me serve the bloody thing. There we go. Oh, my God. Okay, so the tutorial's a bit scabby. Wow! Five stars! And I dropped one on the floor. That's pretty impressive. Guest complaints, nothing. Ah, okay. So my technique behind boiling the potatoes wasn't good. Heating mistakes. Is that because I turned it off halfway through? Too much sunflower oil. I put exactly 10 mil in there, so I think possibly... That's that bloody camera thing. Tomato soup. Okay. Something is still on. Oh yeah, that. Oh god. Okay, right, let's get rid of this. Empty this. Tomato soup. Okay, what do we need for tomato soup? Pour about 700 ml of chicken broth. 700 ml of chicken broth. Oh, come on! I can't see when you do that, can I? Bugger. I'm going to blame the game for that. Right, 500 ml of chicken broth. Salt, 12 grams. Black pepper, 12 grams. Cayenne pepper. Ooh. I wouldn't put that in a tomato soup, but maybe. What did it say? Six. Oh, God. How much have I put in there? I don't know how much I put in there. That's really annoying. Now season the broth according to blah, 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 blah. Tomatoes and an onion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How much is an onion? 150. Oh, that's a potato, you pillock. That's an onion. Mm. Yeah, dim boyd. Take the potato out. Put it in the bin. <clears throat> I've, I've seasoned the broth. Have I not? I, I, do you know what? I bet I haven't put enough cayenne pepper in. Just put one more bit of cayenne pepper in. Okay. 
Yes? Done? Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, this is far too linear. I must have got it ever so slightly wrong, I guess. How much we got in there? 260. We need 700 mil. Let's just do the whole bloody thing again. Chicken broth. Seven hundred and six mil. It was pretty close, wasn't it? Ah, there are some stutters in this game. Right, let's try again then. Jesus, I nearly spilt that. Right, twelve salt. Twelve black pepper. Six cayenne pepper. Right. That was it then. That was the problem. Oh, I need tomatoes. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And an onion. And I think they both fell on the floor. Yes, they did. That's the onion. That's the tomato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. Boil it for, what did it say? 60 seconds. But I think you've got to get it up to temperature first, haven't you? That's annoying. I'm sure that's perfectly good, you know. It just doesn't tell me how much cayenne pepper I've got in there. Well, cayenne pepper, one gram. That doesn't seem right. So the tomato and the onions are nearly cooked. The soup is almost good to go. We're going to need a bowl. Put a bowl over here. In fact, we'll put it here. It's easier to get to. Boil the soup. Okay, so that tick in the bottom left-hand corner is going to tick when the soup is boiled. So the tomato and the onion are both done, but it's not ticked to boil. Hmm. See, I don't think I'm supposed to still be cooking that because the tomato and the onion have gone kind of red. So now I guess I... blend the living daylights out of it. on there. Is that it? I, I don't know. I don't know. This game is brilliant but tricky at the same time. Let's just try it and see how we get on. Pop that down there. Oh for God's sake. Now what's the problem? Telling me to hurry up, you're making me make it twice. The the thing is, the un the tomato and the onions were both going red, which means they're overcooking. Now I could see that the soup itself wasn't a hundred percent, like it hadn't reached the end of the green bar. I'm not really sure which way round that was meant to go. <sighs> we'll just heat it up and try again, I guess. I don't know. It's very, very linear. Very linear, but not extensively clear. It won't let me do it. Flipping hell game, what is wrong with you? What do you want me to do? It's cooked. 
it's cooked, it's ready to go. Have I forgotten something? Boil for 60 seconds, blend, add sour cream. That's what I didn't do, stupid idiot. 150, oh, not in there, in there. <laughs> no, okay, that was my mistake. 150, that's too much. It's a lot more tricky to do games like this when you're chatting as well. Ah, go on the floor then. I don't care. Now will you let me put it down? Still not. Still won't let me put it down. Ah... Uh, Gonna make me make it the whole goddamn thing again. At least I know what I'm doing now. That is most irritating. Most irritating. 260. That's only 500 mil. I have to get another one. Chicken broth. Cannot believe this. That's another thing I dislike. Is when you go to pour something in, instead of it being lined up perfectly, it's always off. And I do hate that. I don't see... What's the point of that? It's just irritating. See, like... So, I'll, I'll show you this time. So, I pick up the pepper, I line it up with where I want it, but it's going to drop it just off the edge there, rather than in the middle. I just find that irritating. Uh, cayenne peppers, 6 grams. I can't believe I'm doing this again. So annoyed right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seven 8, 9. And that one fell on the floor. And that one... Oh, it wants to go in the pot. Yay! Something went right. Goody, good, good, good. Okay, 60 seconds. And then we get some of this stuff. Sour cream, that's not enough. We need 150 mil. See, what's annoying me is it's still not saying that I've boiled the soup. So it says here, boil for 60 seconds and then blend. So maybe I have to blend it whilst it's still on the thing. Does that make sense? I don't know. Not sure is the honest answer. Because if you look at the tomato and the onion, they're both um, pretty much cooked, right? So it would make and they're going to be cooked well before the soup is ready. So it makes sense that I blend those the second they hit green, which is now. Oops. And then I turn that into soup. Yeah. Okay, shut up. And then we just wait for the soup to heat up and pop in. Hundred and fifty mil of that. Give it another quick blend. Not sure if that plate is clean enough. So we'll get it up to maximum temperature. It's still saying I haven't boiled the soup, it still hasn't ticked that box. So that's at 100% now, and it's still saying I haven't boiled the soup. So, I don't know what to do from here. Uh, 
that's way too much, isn't it? Supposed to be 300 mil, never mind. Nope, still won't let me put it down. I think that's a bug, because I've made soup three, four times there. Admittedly, the first time I got it a bit wonky, but I fixed it up, and then I just made the whole thing again. And everything is in there that's meant to be in there. See, that, that, that says soup. They both say soup, so they're definitely soup. But it won't let me put it down. Hmm. I can, I'm, I'm thinking that's a bug. I'm going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Uh, apologies. I don't know if it's a bug. I, I don't know if it's I did something wrong. But the tutorial's not speaking anymore. The boil soup tick box is not being ticked. So I'm a bit confused. I don't know. I'm not sure what I can do there, to be honest with you. Oh, there's plates down there, look. I don't have to keep going over there. That's handy. But, um... Yeah, despite that irritation, this is a really good game. A really good game. It's got a few bugs I need to sort out and a few things I'd like to see changed. But uh, overall, I left the oven on. Overall, this game's absolutely cracking. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to do this anymore. That's long enough for the first episode. Um, if you want to see more, I don't know, let's be fair, let's say 10 likes. 10 thumbs up and I'll give you a second episode. How's that for fair? Thanks for watching, take care, bye for now.